everyone. Jeff and Steph. Excellent adventure. Verde Valley Arizona Adventure. Hey Steph. Yeah. Is your head getting hot? Yeah. Look at this fire behind us. Yeah. Oh, it feels, feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels good. We just had a, a little downtown night out and it is chilly. Chilly. So this fire right here is lovely. Yeah, it feels good. So we're visiting Verde Valley, Arizona with uh, some friends and we're going to be here for a few weeks and so we're going to put together a little compilation video of some fun adventures we're going on. As only we can. Yeah, for sure. So stay tuned. Here we go. Yep. Are we on? <laughs> yes, we're on. Okay. Jeff and I find ourselves back in Jerome, Arizona. Yeah, Jerome's awesome. It is a really cool town. Yeah, we like Jerome. And we just revisited our favorite candy shop. Right? Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> and picked up some We hit treats. it hard. Yes. And now we're looking at some local art displays, if you will. Is that what you call that? Yeah, loosely interpreted. They have some really neat um, things just to look at as a tourist. I'm going to go around on a limb and say that. Whoever did this one was a little creepy. Yeah, he might even be in prison. <laughs> We're gonna show you some of these just for fun. We're having a lot of fun exploring them. Yeah. This is neat. This old hotel um, has been set up so there's like different windows in the wall that you can check out. And so all the long hair, each window has a different display in it. And it's pretty interesting just to walk around and look at it. They have an old 37 fire truck, a Dodge fire truck uh, parked here. This display is called the Miner Family. And it looks like it's a family made out of uh, mining equipment and pickaxes. This uh, piece of art, if you will, is called Bedtime at the Bartlett Hotel. And it's just kind of a dark, creepy interpretation here. Okay, so we're at the Haunted Hamburger. Yeah, Haunted Hamburger. It's this, famous, right? Yes. This hamburger place has been recommended to us while visiting Jerome. So we're going to go in here and grab a bite. Right on. Let's do it. This is the spectacular view of the backside of Haunted Hamburger. And they do have an outdoor covered heated patio area along um, side the restaurant. So if you're not in at the bar and restaurant. So we're in the Haunted Hamburger right now. And the history is this building was originally built in 1910 as a boarding house for the copper miners here in town. And over the years, it changed hands, became other places, and then a family bought it from Phoenix and turned it into the Haunted Hamburg. It got the name Haunted because over the years, uh, different things were recorded happening here, such as things being moved, paranormal activity, um, eyes following people, things being seen in mirrors, and they, it just happened all during the construction process and renovation process that all this came about again. So the family decided to name it the Haunted Hamburg. And now it's a Jerome tourist destination and a big deal for the locals. And we're here to try out the fair. So, boys, how do you feel about this uh, place being haunted? It's haunted. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. You know? I can tell. Brian, how do you feel about this? Can you tell? I don't believe in the after spirits. Oh. So I'm not haunted. There you go. It's not haunted. It's wrong. Why, why do you say this, Jeff? Don't listen to him. Jeff, why do you think this place is haunted? Because I have an extra Extreme sense. Extreme close-up. I have an extra sense. <laughs> yeah? And it tells me there's something going on here. Really? Yeah. The hair is sticking up on the back of my neck, so. Is it? Yeah, so I think there's something definitely really? going on here. Yeah. Do you feel weird here? I feel something. Yeah, I feel something. The decor in here is all really fun. We were just sitting here at our table, and we looked up, and there's a bookcase here. And there's all kinds of funny things in it and a spider hanging, but they've really gone all out, like decorating it. Hi 
Hi guys. Hey everybody. Where are we? We're on the Mingus Highway. Mingus right? Mountain Scenic Road. Yeah, Mingus. Look behind us. Doesn't do doesn't do any justice. This is absolutely beautiful. It's mm -hmm. a mountain road, a really narrow, very curvy, very steep mountain road connecting Jerome, Arizona to Prescott, Arizona. And the pass is beautiful. You can see behind us how high up we are. And it just winds up through all these canyons and rocks. It's beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Stunning. Awesome. <laughs> Look at these guys hamming it up for the camera. Oh, yeah. We're with our good friends, Lorraine and Brian, in Arizona. Where are we? Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. We are actually getting the pleasure of camping with our friends at the Thousand Trails at Verde Valley. So we're having a lot of fun and doing uh, some exploring of the local areas. There are remains of an old mine up here on the hillside. You can see what looks like uh, mine tracks. Pretty neat. Gateway to the Verde River. We are walking the Verde River Greenway State Natural Area. This is called the Jail Trail and it's in downtown Cottonwood. So we are walking the Jail Trail for a little bit here in Cottonwood. Say hi boys. Hi boys. Hi boys. <laughs> Out for a little exercise. It's a gorgeous day here. Um, it's the week before Thanksgiving. It's in the 60s. It's sunny today, and we're taking advantage of the nice weather. It is. It's beautiful. It is. Is it weather or weather? It's weather. Weather. In oh, Jeff's speak. Weather. Weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, that part's slippery. Yeah, like lean way forward. It's slippery, eh? Yeah? You better not fall. Now, what are you going to do? Come back. Okay, you ready? Everyone, yeah. push. Okay. One, two, three, push. Oh, Jeff, you only did one hand. That's all I need. <laughs> well, we found water in Arizona. Water. Water, yeah. We found water in the desert. Yeah, it's the Verde River. Right, which is better than most places in America <laughs> right now. Yeah. So nobody has any water. Yeah, and it's really pretty. Right? Yeah, look at the reflections of the trees. Yeah. That look nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> There are lots of wine cellars and tasting rooms and things here in Cottonwood. This is one burning tree cellars and they have some nice outdoor seating areas and comfy furniture and you can come do some wine tasting. This is Old Town Square in Cottonwood and they have the farmers markets here on Wednesdays from 4 to 8 p.m. and there are some cool little shops and Strada at Bocce, which is a bar and cocktail lounge, and then Bocce Pizza and a gelato place. So there's lots of little fun things to do around the square. Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> this is Jeff and Steph's. Excellent. With Brian and Lorraine's and Brian Excellent and Lorraine. Adventure in Birdie Valley. Yay! We're having so much fun in Birdie Valley. <laughs> yes, yeah. Bocce dinner. Yeah, we're at Bocce Pizzeria, which is a fave of Jeff and I's. We visited it last winter, and we had to come back, and we had to bring Lorraine and Brian because it's delicious, <laughs> right? And since the security force is paying for dinner tonight, we're going to hit it hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get some delicious food and drinks, and we'll show you what it looks like. This place is fabulous, though. It's right downtown, yeah. old historic Cottonwood. And it's just great food, great service, really nice staff, nice place to eat. And we're outside in November and we're on the outdoor patio with the heaters on. So that's pretty awesome. And if you haven't been to Cottonwood or the Verde Valley, yes, 
you gotta come. It this is, is the, awesome. our favorite part of Arizona. Yeah, we it? have a lot of fun here. Yeah, we it love is. it here. <laughs> friends may come and friends may go. And, and friends may peter out, you know. But we'll be friends through thick and thin. Peter out or peter in. Woohoo! Cheers! Cheers, guys. Look at these pizzas. Here they come. Wow. This can be delicious. Lorraine and I decided to go out for a walk today and explore around our campgrounds. There's lots of trails. And this is the Verde River behind us. It's beautiful. It's very still on this side. And then right behind us here, as you can hear, there's like a little dam in a falls. I'll tell you, we are playing Five Crowns. We have a heated game of Five yeah. Crowns going on oh, here. Oh yeah, and I'm winning. <laughs> We I just started. Win. This is um, our second night. We're doing a playoff game or something, right. I think. And so, we have the cool jazz Christmas. Guy. Yeah, look at this. We got some. We got dual fireplace. <laughs> the fire with the fire on the TV oh, and some Christmas music. Well, Stephanie, we've had a good time here in uh, Verde Valley. Yeah, we've had a few weeks here at the Thousand Trails, the Verde Valley Thousand Trails. It's beautiful, as you can see behind us here. And we've really enjoyed getting to explore it some more with our friends, Lorraine and Brian. And we got to see some things we had we didn't know about because uh -huh. they've been here before. That's the fun of exploring with other people because everyone's seeing different things for the first time. And even when we go to a place that we've been in the past, yeah. we seem to find things that are, we haven't seen that are super cool. Yeah, there's huh? always new things to see. So it's been super time and we really enjoyed it here. Thanks Verde Valley Thousand Trails. It's a lovely park and if you're in the area, check it out. For sure. Now here's one thing about Verde Valley. Yeah. As much as we love it. Yes. It's getting a little cool. It is getting chilly here. At, and in the yeah. spirit of uh, chasing the sun and warmth, yes, it's about time to go. Yeah, it's getting about that time. We're going to head more south towards the sun. So and as far south as we have to go <laughs> until we hit Gango. warmth. Because it's beautiful here during the day, but it is cold at night. Yeah. So uh, uh, you couldn't ask for a better park to, to stay at. If you're part of the Thousand Trail system, and you haven't been to this one, um, highly recommend. It's one of our favorites, and uh, yeah. we'll, we'll continue to come back here over the years and uh, always have a great time here. It's just uh, it's just a wonderful park, for sure. So thanks for watching Jeff and Steph's Excellent Adventure. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our smash, channel. Smash, 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 smash. We plan to bring you lots more fun in the upcoming year. Can't wait. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. See you guys. Bye. Bye.